One of the biggest questions right now in the community is if any of the original Game Boy or Game Boy Advance Pokemon games are going to come to the Nintendo Switch. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So with the recent 3DS and Wii U eShop closing, we now have no way to purchase some of the virtual console games, which a lot of the OG Pokemon games were available to download and purchase through the virtual console. As of right now, none of them are on the Switch. Pretty much the only way to play some of these old games is if you have the Nintendo Switch online service. It's kind of an expensive service, but I mean, it's the only way to play some of these games. So it's everyone's dream to have some of the OG Pokemon games on the Switch, but we really haven't seen much of that. We have some games like Pokemon Snap that came out with the N64 Switch subscription and stuff, but there are no mainline games currently. Since we can't use the 3DS or Wii U eShop anymore to buy some of these games, it would just make sense logically for Nintendo to eventually release some of these original Pokemon games like Generation 1, 2, and 3. Hopefully they do 3. I don't know, a lot of people are speculating they're only going to do Generations 1 and 2, but having all 3 generations would be really cool. I know that Nintendo may be a little bit nervous to add some of the original Pokemon games to the Switch service, because knowing Nintendo, they'd probably prefer to sell it individually on the Switch eShop just to get more money, because on the 3DS eShop, I'm pretty sure it was $10 to download some of these Pokemon games, which I think is a pretty justified price. I mean, some of these OG Pokemon games are selling online for like $60 or up. You could just download it on your 3DS for $10. Granted, you know, if you have the physical copy, you could sell it eventually if you need money or anything, and it's just an investment in a way. But having a digital game for $10 is a really good deal. I think another key factor into if they're going to release some of these original generation Pokemon games is they just release Game Boy and Game Boy Advance onto the Nintendo Switch online service, which is crazy. So it kind of gives us like an idea like, okay, they're going to start porting some of these Game Boy and GBA games onto the Switch. And they have some announced that they're going to release in the near future. I'm pretty sure the Pokemon trading card game is going to come, which I've heard is actually really fun. I'm excited to play that. I've never played that before, but it just makes sense if they're going to start bringing some Game Boy games over that they're going to bring these Pokemon games. So here's a small theory that a lot of people are talking about right now. So in two days on April 12th, Nintendo is releasing the Pokemon Stadium games 1 and 2, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's 1 and 2. Onto the Switch's online service for the N64 and whatever. So when this game came out on the N64, you could use your transfer pack, which is like a thing you plug into the controller, and then using that transfer pack, you would use your Game Boy game, your Game Boy Pokemon game to plug into that transfer pack, and then you could have your Pokemon onto the Pokemon Stadium game. I'm probably not explaining this the best, but that's how it kind of worked. And so with these Pokemon Stadium games, you could either use rental Pokemon to attack with, or the Pokemon on your Game Boy game that you could transfer with the transfer pack. But since these games are coming to the Switch, there's of course no transfer pack. You can't transfer any type of Game Boy Pokemon onto your Switch, because it just doesn't exist. So the theory is that Pokemon is going to shortly either announce or release some of the original generation Pokemon games onto the Nintendo Switch, so then you could transfer some of your Pokemon that you catch on those games on your Switch to the Pokemon Stadium games instead of just renting out Pokemon. On the other hand, they could also just introduce like a way to transfer your Pokemon from Pokemon Home onto the Pokemon Stadium games, which would still be kind of cool, but honestly, at the end of the day, I think it's just a waiting game as to when these generation 1, 2, and hopefully 3 Pokemon games are going to come to the Switch. Like, I, I feel like everyone knows that they're coming. Like, Nintendo has never officially announced it, but I think it's safe to say that they're going to come to the Switch eventually. Lots of fans want them. Lots of fans are assuming that they're going to be here by the end of 2023, so hopefully that's the case. If you guys have any thoughts about this, leave a comment down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.